What's going on guys, Challenge here, and today I want to talk about the good things I enjoyed about Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. The last three videos will overall be very negative, and I kind of apologize for that. I do want to see Black Ops Cold War succeed, I do want to enjoy this Call of Duty, but there's a lot of core fundamental issues with the game, as I talked about in the previous three videos. If you guys want to check out those three videos, specifically what in-depths or just basic impressions, hit the annotation above on screen, you know, somewhere down the line, just my general impressions of the alpha so far. But the good things of this alpha, things I experienced, were kind of just surprising. Now, for one, I will admit, I have never been a fan of higher TTK Call of Duties. It's not to say that I do not like higher time to kills in shooters. I just think when it comes to a realistic game like, you know, Call of Duty, even though it has an arcadey sense, Battlefield being a quicker time to kill, I enjoy, you know, Modern Warfare being t quicker time to kill, I do enjoy it. I think it just feels appropriate to the game itself, to the setting, it just me it just me meshes. Now, when Call of Duty got into the future, maybe that higher TTK was something I could forgive, but since we're kind of going back into a grounded experience, time to kill is very important. I do like it being fast, but for some reason, Call of Duty has done a mix between Modern Warfare's, where the time to kill seems a little bit faster than traditional Treyarch games, but again, it's not as slow as Black Ops 4. And I think this is fantastic because again, for people that don't like the time to kill in Modern Warfare, this time to kill feels fresh and rejuvenating. And for the people that love Modern Warfare's time to kill, and yes, there are people that do enjoy the Modern Warfare time to kill. It may not seem like it, but there's tons of people out there that do enjoy that Modern Warfare time to kill, which is such people like me. You know, this feels just as good because it's a little bit longer, but it's not noticeably longer. And that's, I think, the good hybrid that Treyarch has, you know, accomplished. And it's also important to mention that, you know, when you're capped on frames per second, that's also a thing where time to kill could be getting even faster on PC with refreshes. When it comes to just the lag compensation, it also could be good. That's all in technical things we just yet to experience. But for the general most part, I was enjoying my time with the time to kill. Now, when it comes to the overall gunplay, this is also fairly good. Now, I do enjoy the gunplay in Modern Warfare more, but I didn't feel like the gunplay here was such a drawback from that. It felt pretty good, pretty like Call of Duty. And while I had a few times where I felt like I just was having a hard time tracking people while shooting, it's one of those things I just never really experienced. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just because I was playing on PS4 and I've been used to playing on PC. It's just, it was weird. I had a hard time tracking, but in general, the gunplay felt nice, it felt good, and it's something I would look forward to as long as it stays in this type of way. Now, the last good thing, and I think probably one of the most important things for me, besides movement sucking, was that the map design was actually pretty solid. Now, for me personally, while the Modern Warfare maps aren't my favorite and the most memorable, I do enjoy those maps a lot because it, fe it feels very unique, and each game somewhat plays differently, you know? When three lane maps are a thing, every map in the game plays identical. Same pushes, same flows, and everything. And while that's great on a pro competitive level, when it comes to just general casual pub stomping, you know, moods and players, this makes a very, very dull game. It makes it get old quick and maps become very, very boring fast. But seems like Treyarch is stepping in and doing a hybrid of a realistic style with power positions as well as incorporating some laney aspects to just make sure people are moving forward and it's not too flanky. Now, I haven't noticed the maps being too wide, they're a little bit more linear, but there's a good amount of routes that create a realistic setting of, you know, yeah, I can go through this lane, I can go through that lane, I can go through that lane. It was quite unique and it felt fresh, and I really, really want to say it was three lanes, I think they're taking more of a five lane approach. I haven't was able to, I actually, they didn't show the top downs of these maps, so my feelings and you know aspects of that have yet to be seen but it personally feels like a five lane map design system and honestly this is something that feels realistic with power positions as well as just make sure that the maps feel very very fresh good and you know replayable now the movement system doesn't help traversing these maps but in all if they can fix the movement system some miraculously way and transfer you know go back to the modern warfare style of movement i think these maps are going to be something to remember i think this game will be feeling much better than i feel now but in general those are the three things i would take away from this alpha being really really good so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to drop this video a like again i don't want to be all negative on this game i think it was fair to just make a video now talking about my positives the things i like about this game universally this game even though it's an alpha 
has garnered a lot of criticisms but it's also important that this alpha is pretty close to the release date and i get how it's somewhat an old build but if things don't change on the beta and things feel exactly the same it's going to be hard to sell this game as a you know for, for a lot of people that just didn't enjoy the alpha me included but for all things call of duty black ops cold war be sure to subscribe for more of those contents if you want to hear what i just have general thoughts and impressions of when it comes to just black ops cold war the alpha there's a playlist i have an annotation above on screen hit that for all the other videos if you want to get my thoughts and impressions some rants some good some bad stuff but yeah just overall just my general thoughts of how this alpha has been performing but with all that being said if you enjoyed be sure to like for more videos like this be sure to subscribe and that's pretty much all i gotta say on that matter hope you guys have a good one shout out to you here and i'm out